You are, you are trying to create problems for me. <laughs> I was joking. Don't worry. You're looking worried. Okay. Uh, you know, uh, look on the, on the education uh, issue. Uh, as I said, I, I, we very much see education, skill, uh, I would say, uh, startup, innovation, uh, starting a business, uh, also, I would say, global opportunities. Uh, how do we uh, create global opportunities? And global opportunities does not mean you have to always go abroad. You can also, you know, increasingly, we expect definitely much more foreign companies to come into India, invest in India. So, we're going to see a lot of this and definitely in this we expect that uh, girls, women as, uh, as students, as employees, as employers, as talent would have a greater say. So, it is the government's policy to promote education and talent. It is also the government's policy to ensure that women get actually the fair share of opportunities starting from the Parliament of India, but all the way down in every, every uh, sphere. Regarding the soft power, you know, uh, it, it was very interesting. I can give you many, many answers to how did our soft power increase. But I will actually tell you what was the most interesting thing for all the G20 delegates who came. They would leave the conference room where the meeting was taking place in Bharat Mandapam. They went to the next building. In the next building, they were given the opportunity to do shopping with cashless payment. Okay? You will be surprised. Almost nobody in their own country had actually done cashless payment. They had not done this UPI transfer which we all do so commonly and so easily. So, so what is the image now they leave with India? They think, oh India, you know, this may be back office but now it's some kind of tech, you know, there's a tech wizard. Here everybody, because they were actually seeing, I mean, it wasn't, they did not need a CEO of a tech company to demonstrate this. They actually saw it with shopkeepers, with ordinary people with the young people who are actually escorting them and taking them around. So, the strength which I can tell you, education, innovation, even, even Chandrayaan, you know how much it has done to improve our global branding. So, this really makes a big difference. What your question about Japan, and don't take my joke too seriously, look, Japan Japan, we have to learn some lessons from Japan and one of them was how Japan used technology as a way of becoming powerful, of establishing, you know, in a way the brand of Japan is today a technology uh, brand. And I would definitely, you know, we will be overtaking Japan as a size of the economy in the next two or three years, maybe not even that. But how do we compete with a country like Japan to create that kind of technology branding in the world. That is the kind of challenge which you young people actually uh, can address. So once again, as I said, we all, look, our job is to lay the foundation. We have done that as much as we can in the last 10 years. Your job is to take it forward for the next 25 years and you can Start your job by pressing the button on the day when you are supposed to do this. So, please keep that very much in mind. Your choice will determine your country. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir. Your remarkable accomplishments have inspired us all. We are honored to have you with us today and are immensely grateful for your presence. Your valuable insights during the session have enlightened us, fostering a motivating environment. We'll truly cherish your words of wisdom and look forward to applying them in our lives. Thank you so much, sir.
May I now request Principal DTA Lodi Estate 